Somebody call the law. Somebody call the law. It got to be illegal for me to be so wrong. What up, though, Heist Man? The foe talk that talk, ghetto news and opinions, man. Y'all see the hat I got on, man. So y'all already know what I'm talking about. Stephen A. Smith, he back at it again, man. He has some choice words to say about Russell Westbrook and um, what happened to him in game three. This is game four coming up, man. He said this on, e what is this, ESPN, ABC? Come on, man. Y'all check this out, yo. Y'all ain't gonna believe what his brother said. Listen to him. Be quite honest with you. I was of the mindset that Russell Westbrook deserved to be suspended for today's game. That's how appalling his game was. Now, I've been raving about Paul, Russell Westbrook since he arrived in Los Angeles. He's been a godsend for the Clippers as far as I'm concerned. He's an energizer bunny. But what he did the last game, I want y'all to go back and reflect on what transpired in game three. Look at this foul right here. You knock the guy clear upside the head. You sit up there and you come down on Luka Doncic in the back. That play right there, you could have separated his shoulder. Then you push him in the chest. Then you go after P. PJ, and then after that, even though PJ shoved you in the back, and then you're shrugging off the referee. I felt so serious about this, fellas. I called the league office, and I said, I need an explanation. Tell me why Russell Ooh. Westbrook wasn't suspended. And I was told that the referees gave, the officials gave their report, and every indication in... See, that's what I don't like right there. He called the people. Him. Steve, who the fuck are you, Stephen A. Smith? You a commentator. You sit on the sidelines and you commentate. The shit they got going on inside the game, they got going on inside the game. You supposed to talk about what you seen in there. But you somebody you called there. What, 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 what happened? What's this? Who the fuck are you to be calling and asking the league representations, whoever? Who the fuck? I don't know who the people he called. He called the league. Who are you to call and ask them or try to get that man in more trouble than what he is? He got... Kicked out the game. He lost some money. Like, they lost the game. All that. All the other stuff that transpired. At the, like, it's referees, it's coaches, and it's players. You ain't none of them. You ain't none of them. You a coon-ass nigga, first of all. You gonna call... Shut the fuck up, man. Oh, my God. I hate Stephen A. Smith, man. I used to hate... I mean, I still do. I don't like Skip Bayless either, man, because the way he be talking about LeBron and LeBron's son. Always got something to say. But you is worse, bruh. You gonna say you on national TV? You appalled and all this stuff. And you call somebody. You call somebody. You because you thought they was doing wrong. Or like it don't matter what they did, they can do that. They players, coaches, and referees. That's inside the game on the court. You on the sideline talking about? You got a microphone. He goes to the hole. He dribbles. He shoots. He scores. That's you, nigga. You talk about what happened in the game. And for you to get out, like, when the game over with, you to sitting at home. Let me call these motherfuckers. Hey, y'all see what he did? Y'all ain't gonna do nothing. Y'all explain to me. Y'all need to explain to me why he ain't get suspended. You a whole ass nigga, man. That's you. That's y'all boy, Stephen A. Smith. Um, he, he always been in some controversy like that, that he be talking shit and doing shit to downplay and hurt people. The black man or anybody. It ain't, it ain't, it ain't black and white this time, but... I just call him a coon ass nigga because that's what he doing, man. He on TV saying that shit, telling everybody what he didn't did. I call and I got and I got mad respect for the brother. I, 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 shut up, man. How you gonna say you got respect for him and you love his game and all this stuff, but you calling the league offices as a as a commentator or a sports analyst or whatever your job, a co-host or host or whatever you is. That ain't you. I see if a coach said, let me, if I see if, if, if a coach called the league and say, yo, why, what happened to him? Why he ain't get suspended? Well, why he ain't get in trouble? What, what, what's the, I need some, you know, I need, I need some, some acknowledgement. I need to know why they can do that. You can't do that as a motherfucker on the sideline. And you definitely can't get up there on TV and say you did it and talking about, man, this is, that's what I'm talking about, man. I don't like that shit, bro. I don't like it at all, man. That's why I got this hat on just for you. Stephen A. Smith. Stephen A. Smith hat. This is my Stephen A. Smith hat, y'all. I can't believe you get on TV. National TV and told, told everybody you snitched on a man. Or you tried to snitch or something in, in the ramp. This ain't right. This on this on this on it ain't right. Look at you, Stephen A. Pussy. That's what you do, man. I don't know, man. Run out of shit to say.
That's all I can think about right now. It just got me mad when I seen that. I was I got to say something about this. I got to make a video. And I want to play on my new coon hat anyway. It ain't new, but I like bringing it out every time Stephen they get to do something. Every time Stephen they do something, man. Gotta bring this out. I don't like having two balls on my neck. Let me take this off. All right, Stephen E. Smith hat. No diddy. Yo. Anyway, man, I go live on the channel every Friday at 9 p.m. Talking about stuff just like this. That was just my little rant or rave or whatever you want to call it, man. My uh, moment about Stephen A. Smith, man. I'm still watching the basketball games, man. But that was like halftime or something. He was doing that report, and he said, I'm looking like, I can't believe this nigga. He out there telling everybody he's snitching. Oh, my God. Stephen A. Smith, bro. You got to do better, man. You got to do better for the black community, man. You, I see why niggas be trying to get at you, bro. I see why. This is exactly why. Anyway, man, I go live on the channel every Friday at 9 p.m. talking about stuff just like this. You got to come through and holler at me, man. Especially Friday. Friday is my 300th episode and talk that talk. I'm going live Friday at 9. Excuse me, at 9 p.m. every Friday, man. Come through and holler at me. Hit the like button, the comment button, the share button, the subscribe button, the notification bell. All the good buttons you got to hit to get this pimping that I'm putting out when I put it out. And like I said, I go live every Friday at 9 p.m. coming through. Come through, man. I'll let your boy. Heist man. Before. Come through. I'll let me tell me what you think about this. What you think about Stephen A. Smith? And what, I don't like these balls on this. <laughs> I had balls on my shoulders, balls on my chest, balls around my neck, balls everywhere. West, east, south. I don't know. I don't want no balls in my back either. Ah! I got to cut these off, man. These are crazy. I'm, gonna hold, I'm not holding the balls, man. <laughs> <laughs> this shit is crazy. Yo, I go live every Friday at 9 p.m. Come through and holler at your boy. Heist man the Talk that talk. Ghetto news and opinions. This is a dangerous group. Is it groups that we're dealing with now? All right. This time. But I'll be back. And sooner than you think. Wherever there's prejudice, ignorance, inequality... I'll be there. Bows!